go back to 1981 now that we've you know chopped around a bit. Don't worry, there's more. There's a worse one coming up here in a second. <laughs> um, so, uh, so 1981, you know, so I, I did the recording with uh, with Alan at Demento, did my interview, which is a horror, another interview which also will not get put to CD. That was really terrible. Um, uh, Al went, resumed school, finished up school, came home to uh, L.A. in uh, January of 1981. We recorded uh, Happy Birthday, a couple other things, put out the Placebo EP, as it came to be known. And uh, Al needed a job. So uh, Dr. Demento, who was syndicated by Westwood One at the time, actually for many years, uh, got Al a job in the mailroom. That was the famous, infamous, the infamous, no, it was a famous mailroom job that he had. It was at Westwood one who syndicated Demento? Well, I, you know, he was just kind of slipped in there. Well, you know, one day I needed a job too. So Al says, hey, the, you know, there's another guy in there who's working with me. He says, he's walking down front to quit. Uh, do you want a job? I said, sure. So I came down there and I worked in the mailroom with Al. And uh, I, I kind of, I, I moved around the company a bit to some other things. You know, by 1983, and we'd already cut our first album by the time I started working there. It was just kind of in the can. Nobody had uh, picked up on it yet. You know, Scotty Brothers really weren't in the picture yet. So, uh, 1983, we did our first tour. Uh, we both left. It was about a month-long tour. And I came back, stayed at Westwood One, and, and moved on, did some other things there. And, uh, actually stayed there for about 14 years. So that's a case of, of Dr. Demento very directly having, a, you know, something, you know, I met Al through him, and I got a long-term career job type thing that kept me going between tours. It was all Dr. Demento. So, I mean, dementia is, is, of course, very important to me. I mean, it means a lot. If there were no Dr. Demento, uh, you know, well, none of us would be here, but I mean, I certainly wouldn't be here. You guys might be here, you know, <laughs> talking about something else, but not, not me. Um, okay, so that's like 83. Now let's go to 90. Skip ahead to 90. Not much happened. Uh, you know, Al did UHF and all that other stuff. Kind of there was sort of nether years there where nothing was happening. You know, kind of no tours, no albums, no nothing. But one of the things we did in 1990 uh, was, uh, I'm sorry, 1991, was Dr. Demento's 20th anniversary. And there was a live, uh, there was a live show. You could, you know, I'll tell them that you guys play. Not long enough, but you know. <laughs> Seen the footage yet? So don't. <laughs> now the the, uh, the uh, among other things, this is where we met Ruben. So it does have some sad memories. As well. But uh, the uh, it was it was it was a lot of fun. It's the first time he's really done an extravaganza like that. I mean, on his own, and it was televised and it was put together and ran on uh, Comedy Channel before there was Comedy Central, I guess. And uh, the the premise was, I mean, we were. Boy, we really weren't the stars of the show. I mean, it was kind of, Barry was the star of the show. And we, uh, we put together a little orchestra. Al's band backed up all the musical artists, uh, except uh, like Uncle Floyd, who played his own piano, stuff like that. But we basically backed up everyone. Uh, Bobby Boris Pickett, uh, Barnes and Barnes. Now, if any of you ever saw the special, there's a bunch of stuff that did not air. <laughs> I have that tape. Uh, I'll, I'll get I'll get to that in a sec. This is like way out of order. I'm sorry. Uh, Eddie Lawrence, the guy that does the old philosopher, you know, and uh, um, uh, Benny Bell. Not his last appearance, but I mean, it was uh, you know, it was nice to see him. And he was still pretty spry. I didn't bring any Benny tonight, though. But uh, um, Uncle Floyd, to Bill Frenzer from Ogden Edsel, uh, sang Dead Puppies, and another song which I brought uh, with us backing him up, uh, and then of course Al. You know, we, we sort of finished off the night. We played four songs, two of which aired, another of which I uh, showed at Alcon, of us doing another one, Rides the Bus, and the uh, bus chant, as it was known then. <laughs> and one other song, which I didn't bring tonight, but that's okay. So the, uh, I'll tell you about the upcoming clips in a second, just real quick, so I don't forget to ask for questions. Are there any questions about anything that we did so far? Anything you're curious about? Something you saw, something you heard, something? No? Yes? You said something about that there was uh, two of your all-time favorite songs you did with Al. You mentioned one. What was the other one? Yes, that's if if there's time, if I don't talk long enough, and uh, you know we don't run over time, that's in another segment that I haven't really even. I brought another medley. <laughs> so, but anyway, that doesn't you know that's not. You guys have probably seen that one, a lot of you. Um, okay, so this is. We actually did two nights. With, uh, we did one night in San Francisco, we did another night in Pasadena, which is L.A., and that night was taped for the uh, comedy, comedy Channel broadcast, uh, which was an hour-long show. Well, I've got a 95-minute tape by itself of nothing but the show, 
you know, before it was cut. I mean, it very easily could have been a two-hour show. And I brought a couple of clips. The first one is, uh, this is not with us, but this is Tiny Tim doing uh, I Got You, Babe, the Sunny and Chair. Or oh, he does a duet. Now, you, you have it on an album, but here he is doing it. Uh, not yet. Um, there's uh, Chev Woolley, who did Purple People Eater. Uh, I didn't bring that because that aired. What I brought was, uh, he does a song called uh, Sons of Mitches. There's a story about, he doesn't have a hair lip. No, there's a story about why it's, and we're backing him up on that if you listen carefully. Um, and then the last of the three segments is Bill Frenzer doing a song called Pine Cones. And it's kind of a jazzy, so it, I don't know if it's out, if you heard it. It's, it's on the, it the so? best of CD for Occidental. Oh, okay. God, I hope it's not our version. It was no. atrocious. Okay. But anyway, that's, that's on here. And I mean, this, this stuff fits in, one, because it's Demento, and two, you rarely hear the band doing something other than with Al. So this is, two of these things are, uh, are with Al, and I actually have something else that, or I'm sorry, are with Al's band. And uh, I've got something else that's with us, too, that's, that, again, nobody has seen. I've got the only tape. Uh, okay, so we're ready. This is the Dr. Demento 20th anniversary uh, live show outtakes. Eventually. That made me wonder. Because of it, so nice tonight. It's a little duet with myself. Three, they're rotten, some of the bitches to the core. 
Yes, they run some images to the core. Street sweeper, sweep up. Thanks a lot. 